the fact that oh my it, God. it wasn't late. Okay. It was early. Well, and because it's slightly early, he, he just barely, you just swing yeah. and you miss, and before you come back hold, around, hold, that's hold. it. And, uh, BB Incineroar. I'm down. Seeing Sky Jay at Collision has inspired us all. Well, BB had a pretty strong Incineroar phase over the summer, I that, remember, where they were doing mm -hmm. they were doing lots of work. I, re I remember hearing about it, even though I hadn't been out to oh, Tri-State yet. Oh, I watched yet. it. I was, I, yeah, well, I was at Brooklands. Not all of us are from Tri-State. No, know, but I'm saying I was at Brooklands, and VB's on stream with Incineroar, screwing everybody up. But you also can't tell me that the fact that this is the first time we've seen this in a while being two weeks after Collision. I've seen it a couple times at, like, waypoints, but... Mm -hmm. But what like a crazy first stock here already. Th like, and this makes a lot of sense, right? Like a character that like numbers loves to play defensively, loves right to kind of bait you out, and Incineroar gets to just knock him because because yeah, okay, Weefit gets deep breathing, and 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 charges these projectiles. But if Weefit throws these projectiles at you to keep you out, you get revenge, I and was that's gonna just that. as much a reward. It's the same. So, it's like it's the same thing where like. You as a snake player, you know you play Incineroar, you can't throw things for free because revenge. Exactly. It's but also Weefa has the hardest time getting revenge of a bit of revenge of every character exactly. in the game. Because her grab is so bad. It's bad. Which means that this character kind of you know, as well as the fact that John is really good at playing defensive neutral, and Incineroar doesn't need that many interactions to kill you. I was like this he you just always get that yeah. Yes. Sorry. No, you're good. I was also just gonna say like the grappler game plan is really good against Weefit because a lot of her play revolves around sun and shield. And side B is this like crazy mythical weapon. Oh, it's such a broken button. It's literally one of the best buttons in the game. And also you have down tilt. This is a rewrap. It does not matter yep. what John does. Yeah, that that's, that's all true. Yeah, well, because, yeah, exactly. Down tilt hitting below ledge yep. is one of the best. Two frames in the game, it's very active, it actually... but it also pops you up. If you DI in, I don't know why you DI in, because if you DI, well, I do know, because if you DI out there, um, DI out on down tilt as that person's true into back air, so you have to exactly. DI in, which is where you get forward air. Exactly. And BB with the full stock lead here, and John, I mean, I would expect him to, like, you know, do his thing and adapt to this as time goes on, but, like, VV is using Incineroar's threat range perfectly right now against Weefit. Like, they're playing at that perfect range, and this ledge trap is showing for it already 55. And with this ledge trap as well, VV's willingness to use these Bat, mix these back airs in with the forward tilts, the forward airs, but right? really utilize Incineroar's whole hit here. Here has allowed them to just keep this damage going, keep it racking up. Unfortunately, not able to find that a lower one, but the down air almost confirming in, in, into that up air to boot, but we fit being very light, able to keep it going. Dash attack not able to find the mark yet. JDC, we're nearing the end. <laughs> Is it going to be VV closing it out? Can numbers close the stock? Because if it's a last stock situation, I think he can maybe bring it back. It is numbers we're talking about here yeah. at Azino. But, but you need to remember, Alolan Whip will definitely kill these percents in the right spot. Numbers, oh. though, has not been hit I mean, in. You are 1% okay. now. Back throw, up throw, I curse fourth throw will all kill you. Yeah. You can just get a normal grab here if you're VV. But we really haven't seen VV look for any of them so far. It's very nerve wracking if you're them to go for it, because if you mess up, Numbers is probably exactly. gonna kill you, and you don't wanna let yourself get put in this last stock situation, because as much as you don't wanna think about the player, everybody in New York City, when they think, oh, sit down against Numbers, thinks about how they're playing Numbers. Yeah. He almost survived that too, that was crazy. I was actually expecting to throw off the top, I think it would've killed, but... Yeah, throw off the top, uh, might've. I'm surprised we didn't see Vivi at that ledge trap, those ledge traps at all, look for any normal grabs, because up throw, forward throw, and back throw all would have killed by that percent. I don't think that Vivi really, I don't think that Vivi really felt like they needed it though. Yeah. Like, and also like, Vivi's back air, back air hit rate this game was disgusting. Oh, I think it was, it, like, it literally, I think Vivi missed two. Yeah. And because they were intentionally. And they hit like nine. Yeah. So. And, and I was gonna say, the, one, the two that Vivi missed were also intentionally not placed to hit. They are intentionally created to create pressure to yeah, condition. Yeah, and cover you. space. Mm -hmm. And I think that this game, we might see a little more grab from Vivi. We might see, like, the layers start to come out. And on John's side, we're going to see... we might see, see more nair falling nair yeah, too. Yeah, we're going to see more falling buttons. I think we're also just going to see a bigger focus on John just controlling space, playing for stage. And we're already seeing an adjustment. John is sitting here baiting Vivi yeah. onto these platforms to then find the juggle from underneath. Because in Cinema, while you can drop through with that Nair, your buttons don't necessarily come out super fast. Exactly. And that means that when, a, even though you can drop through, have those active hitboxes, 
you can't do it on reaction, and a character like Weef, especially with deep breathing, can can juggle you for a whole lot of percent. Yeah, huge conversion here from numbers, but VB and Cinewar's damage output, nothing to scoff at. 120, though. Yep. Let's and, see if numbers can... And we're already seeing Vivi, though, go um, start to mix in those grabs, as we were talking about earlier, but also really has not thrown out a single revenge this game. A huge difference from before, allowing numbers to throw out these projectiles with a lot more impunity. And that difference, because numbers has been able to keep Vivi at that mid-range where you can punish, has meant that you can only get them when numbers is at lead. Vivi finally finding an opportunity. Somehow numbers missing the punish. That was a crazy hurtbox yeah. shift. And... Now, the the two revenge stacks are gone. Numbers is only at 100%, which means that you're going to have to work a little harder for this kill, even for Incineroar. And John now like, gets to do his thing. Like, look at that. The, if you see in the instant replay in the corner, unfortunately, Numbers just pulled this to trigger on that Salute the Sun slightly too early, which is why that slight hurt bunch of the revenge was able to yeah. avoid, avoid it. That being said, now the with the Alolan, the Alolan whip, <laughs> you're going to close it out. Out 78% is a lot for most characters, but not so much for Incineroar. However, that last ricochet on the soccer ball getting give numbers a lucky break. He gets back to center stage, able to reset the neutral instead of having to deal with the big cat in your face. And and my friend, what are we gonna see happen here? Is Vivi gonna be able to press this opening? Uh John is doing the thing that he does, and it's really scary where he he's like an AI and he just adapts to you and like you don't know what to do. Numbers the, GPT. The, the <laughs> The routes that Vivi has been taking have just been slowly closed off. Here's an edge guard, and Vivi's just gone. And Numbers has just slowly, like, he's approaching from smarter angles. He's throwing his projectile smarter. He's baiting revenge. He's conditioning around the presence of the counter. There's the Alolan Limp, but it's not going to kill. Honestly, I, because of the deep breathing, I actually would have still gone for that off the side. Because it throws because, them low. Mm, it, it throws them low, and at that percent, like you see the percent they were at there, it would have killed. That would have killed if it was at ledge. I think the first one with the deep breathing online would have as well, because Weefa gets lighter. However, Vivi didn't go for it, and I do wonder if we're going to see them switch if they lose this game. I don't think they should, but I'm worried they might. Sorry, John did a John threw at the ball that did mid air mid air header cancel to punish VB. No, it was gorgeous. Oh my god, it was absolutely gorgeous. And VB now starting to swing a little bit, knows they need an answer and quick, but you can't lose your patience because that's all you have with a character that's slow. You have to play patient. You have to play discipline yeah. and let them be the one to make the mistakes. Be afraid when you start to give that to the faster character, especially to a character like We Fit. Especially to a player like Numbers. Incineroar just doesn't get anything. And that was crazy from Numbers. I don't know how he knew, but he knew. Beautiful route from Vivi as well. And my friend JDC, can Vivi find the stock? Nope. You're yeah. going to get F thrown and with deep breathing, not quite going to kill, but. Interesting route from yeah. Vivi. You can't do anything because. You use too many reasons. You could actually. You yeah. have the ability to Lariat there but and still survive. But the thing is, like. We fit forward air is this like insane move that covers this entire like continent's worth of space. If VV does side B, then high up B, the forward air will still hit. Well, it's not side B, it's neutral B. It's you oh, darkest well, layer that air stalls you to drift, save your resources, and give yourself that because you still have your jump that little bit yeah, extra flexibility. But I, but I think like because if you see John threw the ball a little high in that arc, and I think it actually I think it might have covered the stall. Well, Lariat is able to. I, I guess it beats it, hit. right? Yeah. Well, it, I believe so, yes. Regardless. So, like, if you look here. Okay, well, we'll we got cut just in time, but we'll, we'll catch at the end of the match. Vivi opening up with an Alolan up. I like it in theory, Gets but punished. but yeah, you just miss space it slightly, right? And we're seeing the antiness. I do appreciate that Vivi did decide to stick with the big cat here in game number three. Oh my god, that was brutal. Oh, numbers is just playing so well on these platforms, and it's just like not giving Vivi the opportunities to even look for these mix-ups. We're seeing the rising there, but it's the falling there that's really good for Incineroar, right? At these low percent, you find these combos, and numbers is just not given VV the openings to get anything started to even con continue in advanced state in the first place. Yeah, and VV has tackled some damage here though, so it's not all lost. The deep breathing dash attack won't quite kill on Cinderor. You know, that he's was big. a crazy oh. route. The f the delayed fastball yeah. in. And just like VV and into the Alolan whip, into then the delay on the upbeat just slightly, really yeah. pushing this character to the limit. The you confidence you have to have to go for that. And is... also, like, clearly shows that VV outside of Rack has been putting in time with this character as well, yeah. just to know the limits of those roots. Exactly. Barely dodges the sun here. The Alolan whip will not hit. 
the Nair to shield. And now, I mean, despite being at 160, it's kind of all the same to Insin, right? Oh my and god. And there's a down tilt to punish that the drop from Numbers. Because Numbers dropped there, he yeah. could have teched that. He could have, but I don't think he... I, I mean, just, he wasn't prepared. I was going to say, nobody really knows the Incineroar matchup. Up, even when you have to play an Incineroar regularly. Like, we saw Scott Ar Argo lose to SkyJ twice, and they play all the time. That's true. So, it's one of those things where, like, you don't really realize that if you drop in certain situations at certain percents, you'll be put in the tech situation there, so just nobody's ready for it. But yeah. if you do, it provides real counterplay, especially for a character like we fit with that forwarder. For sure. Let's see what Vivi can get in this ledge trap. A neutral air, just chilling, stalling out this deep breathing with this advantage is a huge space, which is ideal. Damage. And yeah. the lariat to boot was beautiful. Yeah. Right back air, and Vivi just continues to hold this advantage. Numbers. He threw his hand up. I don't know if he lost the jump or maybe he just like had a bad break there, but yeah, it didn't look like he got max height as well. Let's see if we can see it in the replay cam. Yeah, he definitely thought he had a jump. I think yeah, it. he definitely thought because it that it looked like that fair was supposed to be a double jump fair, yep. and he was very confused. Or maybe he meant to do jump up B and he made a mistake. Either way, Vivi with the this lead isn't big yet, but it can become big. Incineroar will live to hugely long percents here. Shields yep. the sun. And John is just back in the corner. Yep, and this is actually one of the huge things for Incineroar in this matchup is this character is really good at dealing at keeping you in the corner, at ledge trapping you, as well as that revenge, meaning that one of Weefit's best tools that makes her so good at playing out of the corner in those soccer balls, in those salute the suns, you just can't do. Because you're close enough that if you throw them out, you're gonna get hit by the revenge and power them the up. And then they die. The but the numbers doing the numbers. The footstool. And he did all the math to make that work. He really did. He he just he saw the future and now this is last stock of winners finals here. Vivi with the dash attack to catch the landing. Numbers of deep breathing is gone. Absolutely, but you still have that full salute the sun, which means you're one or two openings away. Now that's gone too. Very few Weezers left, but getting put that far off stage. The one downside of Incineroar is you can't really go off to contest a character with as good of a reversal game as we fit. So you're able to oh get deep breathing God. back, rack up the damage just like that, JDC. We are almost even. We're actually, I mean, we're almost even. Like, as you said, Nair here, Numbers gets the deep breathing back, but he's going to have to deal with this Incineroar ledge trap. Actually double jumps out of the corner. The extra acceleration from deep breathing helping. This is so tense for both players. The Sun not going to kill you. Incineroar nope, but, is too heavy. Yeah, but, but there's, route, there's nowhere to go. Wait, the soccer ball might have saved The soccer them. ball they, saved. They had a jump, but the... But there's no, no jump. No, they, they jumped and then Alolan whipped. If they hadn't Alolan no, exactly. whipped there, they were... They but, were alive. But the jump, but, the yep, jump came watch, out too early. I was going to say, watch this. The jump comes out. You can still survive there. You yeah. can just immediate upbeat. And based on numbers position, he was not He was just grabbing ledge. He actually wouldn't have been able to jump yeah. off and punish you before you got to ledge. You have an, or to stage. You have another out mm -hmm. there where you can just do a low and whip into up B, and you'll be still be high enough where the mm -hmm. angle of the up B will grab the ledge. Yep. Or a low and whip first, then jump. But, but also... the thing is, a low and whip, then jump, you still have to contest with Wii Fit. Whereas if you did that jump, into the immediate up yeah. at least you're, you're either snapping the ledge where Weefit just can't contest you, she tries to contest you, in which case she gets spiked and she dies, or I... you land on stage and still have stage control. Yeah. So <laughs> it just I think it was a misinput from Vivi, it, honestly, it, what, is what it looked like. Yeah, as much as, you know, we can talk about the tragedy of the missed recovery, John's awareness and presence of mind off stage. I see this man play every week, multiple times a week, and it always catches me off guard. Dude, I swear, I never learn more new things about the theory of edge guarding than when and you watch this guy. play than numbers. And like, you watch ESAM, people are like, oh, ESAM's an incredible edge guarder. Oh, you know, Shiny Mark's a great edge guarder. I, yeah, they're Pikachu players, but they're also insane at edge guarding. Um, you know, I'm trying to think who else. Like, Siskis are really good at edge guarder and ledge trapper. But like, you don't, you see it and it just doesn't matter because like, Numbers is just, he's so creative with a character who's entirely based to play around the ledge that he's been doing it for two games now, where...